women out there, see women and physio, Stuart Douglas. What's the atmosphere like out here today? It's all good in the sunshine, yeah? Yeah, it's all good. Um, boys are working really hard. We've uh, come off a, not a great result on the weekend, but we've got a massive game now against Shrewsbury Saturday. So we've got to prepare uh, during the week correctly to make sure we're ready for the game. Um, so that's what the boys are doing today, yeah. Can you give us a progress report on some of the injury news? Yeah, so if you pan your camera that way, you'll see uh, Quezzy and you'll see Egley doing some work with Jason Moriarty who are about to start some work. Today is the last day for them to do like functional uh, activities, functional drills, functional training, make sure we can tick that box. Once that box ticked, they'll have a recovery day tomorrow with a view to train on Thursday. That's the plan. It will all depend. Cheers, Jace. It will all depend <laughs> upon... Uh, it will all depend upon... Uh... Go and see them. Oh, we will do. Pan, pan, pan. We will do. Pan, 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 pan. <laughs> back so, to yeah, the serious back to the stuff, serious stuff. <laughs> So if they can tick the boxes today and they get through what they're doing now with Jason, so a lot of it will be shooting, um, functional drills, twisting, turning, jumping, sprinting at full velocity. Once they can do that, we know that they're able to join in training and there's a, you never say no risk, but a very minimal risk of, of re-injury. So the plan is for them to do that today uh, with a view to them training on Thursday. And Jeff, Lalo. Hey, so nice, good. Well done, well done. Lalo, 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 Lalo. Hey, so good. Orange. Hey, so fantastic. Well done, well done. Game quiz, good. Well, we now fit this coach, Jason Moriarty. Some real progress with Quezzy Appiah out there. Yeah, so we're coming to the end stage of his um, return to play now. So um, what we've just done is um, something called reactive agility, um, rather than just change of direction. Um, so he needs to respond to the call, um, which is a different stimulus. Um, we know if he's able to do that, um, or if he makes the wrong decision, um, and he's not in control of his body, and he has to change direction, um, and he feels no discomfort, then we're confident then that he'll be able to go to back to training and not feel any discomfort with the sporadic nature of the game.